What is going on everybody, Jaisar here, and originally I wasn't going to make a video on this, but I kept getting shorts and TikToks about Marvel Rivals, and how it's an Overwatch copy, how it's a Paladins copy, how it has this and a little bit of that, how the game's trash, how the game's good. So I kind of wanted to react, see what I thought about it, if the game looks good, the game is looking trash, but yeah, I wanted to see how the game is, and see if the game is uh, worthy, if you will. <laughs> So without further ado, and enough of me ranting, let's get started. Alright, here we go, Marvel. NetEast Games. You'll need a top-notch team to win this one. Okay. Pick your hero. Six for six. Get ready. Ooh. Okay, so the game actually looks really good. It's nano time. That's cool. I hope Friday got that on video. I'm opening a portal. Tag team. I think that was ultimate. Together, I'm everywhere. Your powers are mine. Oh, Loki's broken. I got you. Behold, Dark Child. I love the way that you can like break stuff as well. That's pretty good. Open up the area. Where am I snow? I say I heard that name before. You're the winner. Next team. Marble Rivals. Nice. All right, let me rewind real quick so I can kind of break this down a little bit because I saw a lot of good things and the game looks sick. So we have a 6v6, kind of like uh, Overwatch. <laughs> I'm not going to make too many references, but we have a 6v6 third person shooter. We have Loki, Malik, Neymar, Luna Snow, Grew and Rocket on the first team. Second team, we have Doctor Strange, Black Panthers, Spider Man, Penny Spider, I think that's her name, Iron Man, and then we have Bruce Banner. So First, like second into actual gameplay, we have the UI, excuse me, which uh, looks really, really different from most UIs, but it's basically the same. So on the right hand side, we have our character. And for right now, we have Doctor Strange right next to the character we have the character's ammo depending on who you are it will change right in the middle is everyone's health bar to the left of it dr strange has a shield it looks like so the shield is 800 health for now uh, on the right hand side we have all the abilities and then on the very far right we have the ultimate we can see everyone here uh, I'm going to make a lot of predictions in this, by the way, so be ready. So I'm going to try and guess everyone's abilities as well. So for Doctor Strange, the right click is a shield. Shift, I'm going to assume is his hover. So whenever you hit shift, uh, you hover around or fly around. His E is a bubble. Um. 
That could be something for like a shield on the ground or I'll get to what it could be in a bit. And then I th think that's F. I can't see because of the uh, closed captions. Yeah, that's F. So his F ability uh, is his teleport and then his ultimate, we'll get to his ultimate in a bit. Uh, Bruce Banner, we actually see Doctor Strange use the shield right here. By Bruce Banner, we have uh, his gun, he has 200 health. Uh, was Looks like a grenade. I don't know what the grenade could do. But what's interesting is he actually uses his ultimate in this form. So his ultimate switches over to Hulk, and then we have a bunch of different abilities now. Obviously, uh, him using his fist would be an ult or a infinite uh, attack. You don't need to recharge that. Uh, he doesn't use an ability though to leap into the air. So I think that's just like you hold space and then. You aim wherever. Uh, shift could be a block. E could uh, switch back to Bruce Banner. Right click could be a uh, shockwave, as we saw whenever you clapped his hands. And we can see something that uh, we haven't really seen really in uh, these type of games, but they actually have a team up option where Bruce Banner actually infused Iron Man with s some gamma. And you can see Iron Man using an ability and now his uh, lasers are green and you can see some effects on his suit are green as well. Another cool thing is you can actually destroy uh, statues and some things around the map so that could be uh, really good to like open the map up and not feel confined in uh, a space. And it looks like he used his uh, F ability to shoot. We have a left click and right click ability as well. Shift seems to let you fly around, E is that infuse, and then his Q will get to that in a bit. There's Doctor Strange using the ability, then we have Spider-Man uh, using his ability, or his ultimate. It looks like we have some web abilities, shift looks like you can swing around, but you can only use it three times, however. Uppercut can only be used twice as well. Uh, if we go back, you can actually see he has five little webs. So his right click could be uh, his web. You stick it on people and they like can't move maybe. His E could be a net. Again, I'm just guessing. And then you can see in the background here how the the background like changed as well. Luna Snow with her abilities. Now I can't really guess what these are because you only used like two abilities here. But uh, she seems to be a healer. Along with that, if you guys ever played Spellbreak, I'll play it again. This little animation it seems to be uh, that spell break animation, so that's pretty cool. Now, this ability. I think it's just a little boost. I can boost people's uh, damage. We have Neymar, he. It looks like he can summon three squids. Almost like if you guys played Overwatch, Torbjorn can summon 
a turret, it looks like Nimrod can summon three squids like turrets. Uh, right click, he can throw his spear. Shift looks like, I'm going to assume he can spin it around to block projectiles as well. Uh, we saw Iron Man using a beam ability, probably without the infuse with, uh, what is it, Bruce Banner. Another cool thing is this is a push map with the chariot. With Loki in the back, uh, using a little decoy ability, and then his F is, uh, or he's able to teleport over to any decoy that he puts down. I think right click, he's able to disappear as well. Shift, I don't know what that could be. His ultimate is interesting as well. So his ultimate, he can change over to whoever uh, he's looking to use their abilities. Now, at the start, he doesn't have any charge, like ultimate charge. So I'm wondering if you need to get a kill and then you'll get an ultimate charge or do you get it over time? Kind of like Echo in a way. We have a little kick for Black Panther. A little drive attack as well. And then his ultimate summons a giant panther and then... See, that's what I mean, right? People could be like on the bridge fighting or taking advantage of you. All they gotta do, break the bridge and then it's gone. Then we have Malik. Malik could be a really good character as well to learn. We have a little E ability where she darts up and then uppercuts someone. The ultimate. Her shift, uh, she can teleport around. Really, really cool. And it looks like we have a little capture point over here as well for whenever they showed Rocket and Groot. And then it shows Iron Man's ultimate, just completely destroying that team. Penny Spider, I don't really know who this could be. Along with the ultimate, I don't really know what it is. She's basically just running and then her pincers are attacking so I don't know about that one Hulk can just pick someone up and start beating them on the ground kind of like in the movies I think that's Loki yeah that's Loki getting beat I'll show a clip of the movie but that's actually really funny it's me I am a god you dull creature and I will not be bullied by that Puny God. That little reference. Doctor Strange uh, seems to pull people out of their bodies along with stopping time. Luna Snow, I don't know what Luna Snow would do. Just boosts people, I guess. And then we have Galactus's daughter as the announcer, it looks like. And then we have a surprise visit from Storm, Magneto, Star-Lord, uh, Mantis, Cable, and Scarlet Witch. Trailer plays and then it shows at the end all the characters along with closed alpha begins 
sometime in May, along with you can wishlist uh, the game on Steam and Epic. So that's really all I have to cover for this game. I basically covered most of the characters' abilities, or I guess guessed the characters' abilities, uh, and then really just went over gameplay. But I mean, the game looks really cool, even though it's basically a one-to-one -one copy of, or not one-to-one, -one, but like almost one-to-one -one copy of Overwatch. But I wouldn't mind playing this game for what it is and seeing where this game goes. If you guys want to see content of this game whenever it does come out, uh, also let me know down in the comments. Let me know also down there what you guys think of this game. If you like it, if you hate it, but uh, let me know. Real quick before I do end the video, the Olympian trails are coming. Don't worry, I didn't leave you guys for a week just to not post anything. And then this just shows up randomly. I am working on the video. It's just taking me a little bit. I was waiting for some things to come out. But we will have a video uh, two days time. Not tomorrow, but uh, what day is it today? Saturday. We'll have a video Saturday for it. Don't you worry. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. Peace.